Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today is time for Chapter 7 from our read about, a read-aloud book, The Flying Flea, Callie, and Me. And remember, we left off in Chapter 7 with something just landed on Flea's head. Eat me! What? Eat me! Who said that? I looked up. There was the... That's where the voice came from. But I couldn't see anything. I twisted my neck to the side. Still nothing. I flipped my back end around trying to find who was speaking to me. Cat, I'm up here. On your head. I waved my ears. I wiggled my whiskers. There was something on my head, all right. I could feel it. It was not very heavy, but something was there. Sharp needles kind of scratched my skull. Almost cross-eyed, I looked up again. A small pointed feathered head peeked down. Beady bird eyes blinked. Get off my head! Okay, if you'll eat me. No! The beady bird eyes blinked again. The corners of the beak wiggled down into a frown. What do you mean, no? No means no. I don't eat birds. The feathered head cocked to the side. But cats eat birds, don't they? Well, yes, I guess. Most cats do. But I don't eat birds. Now get off. What do you mean you don't eat birds? Well, when I was little, I was attacked by a mad rooster. I don't like feathers in my mouth. And the rooster was so big and mean and frightened that... Look, cat, the bird interrupted. I don't want your life story. I just want to get it over with. I lay down and flopped over on my side. Maybe I could knock her off. Only when I rolled over, she clung to me. When I lay on my side, she walked to the other side of my head. When I rolled onto my back, she walked onto my face. She stood right on my mouth and glared me in the eye. Get what over with, I mumbled. I mumbled because it was hard to talk with a bird standing on my mouth. I can't fly, she pouted. All my family went south for the winter, and I'm here all alone. I don't want to starve. Mama told us that cats eat birds, so I figured, well, it's quicker than starving to death. I shook my head. Her little claws clamped harder to my mouth. She was starting to smush my whiskers. I flipped over so I could get my paws under me. She walked around my head as I rolled. By the time I stood up, she was perched between my ears again. Look, bird, I wish I could help you, but just my luck, she chirped. I'm starving to death, and I land on the only cat in the country who won't eat birds. If you won't eat me, then feed me. What? I'm hungry. Get me something to eat. What? You're a bird. Look, we've already been through that. I'm a bird. You're a cat. Only you don't eat birds. Either eat me or feed me. I'm hungry. I twitched my whiskers, thinking for a moment. Well, there's some cat food inside. I didn't eat it, all of it this morning. I guess I could take you there and... I broke off of what I was saying when a sudden vision flashed through my head. I could just see me marching into the people's house with a bird on my head. I was a cat. What was I thinking? Bird, are you going to have to get off... Bird, you're going to have to get off my head, I yelled. Feed me first. I'm a cat. I can't go around with a bird on my head. Get off. Nope, not until I get something to eat. I need to hunt and take cat naps each day. I can't go around with a silly little bird on my head. Get off, I growled deep in my throat. The bird tightened her grip. No. Will you get off if I find you something to eat? The bird didn't answer. Will you? Look, cat, I'm really hungry. Can you get me a snack? I haven't eaten since yesterday. Mama all, always brings me a nice breakfast as soon as the sun comes up. But today, she didn't come back. What does she bring you? Well, cat, she brings me moths or caterpillars. Listen, you, my name is Gray. Quit calling me cat. Okay, Gray. She brings me caterpillars and moths and grasshoppers. Look, um, what do I call you? Mama called us all birdies. You can call me whatever you want, the bird chirped. How about pest? I asked. I don't care. If you get me something to eat, you can call me anything you want. Just feed me. Okay. Pest is a little too much. How about flea? I had a flea once, and he was as hard to get rid of as you are. She cocked her head to one side. Flea is a great name. Now, please get me something to eat. I 
can't think with a bird on my head. Would you please move to the, my neck or back? I flattened my body on the ground, hoping that the bird would move. Okay, just remember that you promised to feed me. You have to feed me or eat me, okay? Flea moved to my neck, then to my back. I could still feel those tiny claws moving around, but somehow they didn't seem to be as bad as when she was on my head. I tried to figure out how I was going to feed this little bird. Birds don't eat mice. I saw plenty of moths flying around the yard light at night, but they were always up high in the air, and caterpillars, well, just the thought of catching one of those wiggly little crawly things. Hey, Flea, do you like grasshoppers, I asked, remembering the ones that I had seen this morning. Mama brings them to me us, us sometimes. They're not my favorite, but I am hungry. I walked toward the yard where I had seen the bugs. They didn't seem to be as slow now that the sun was up. I spotted a small thin one on the blade of grass. I crouched and moved slowly toward it, inching up. I watched it carefully. I pounced. Got it. I twisted my head around so the bird could take it. Here, flea, I mumbled because I had a grasshopper hanging out of the side of my mouth. Little bird feet moved toward my head. Suddenly they stopped. I can't reach it. I'll fall off. So, I mumbled. If you fall off, get back on. No, nope. you'll have to throw it to me. I took a deep breath and sighed. This wasn't going to be easy. I tossed the grasshopper over my shoulder. It landed in the grass. Flipping around, I pounced and grabbed it again. I tried the toss once more, but Flea missed. Being a determined cat, I tossed it over and over and over until it finally landed on my back. Flea gobbled it down. I'm hungry, she chirped as soon as she had eaten the small insect. I spent the next 20 minutes hopping around the yard like an idiot, pouncing on grasshoppers. I got better at tossing them onto my back. When Flea finally quit her demands for more food, we walked to the porch for a cat nap. Nice bird, Callie grinned from her rocking chair. Yeah, thanks. Got any ideas to help me? I twitched my ears. Callie looked back sleepily. Sure, you could have a morning snack. I flopped down on the cool concrete. You know I don't eat birds. Callie shrugged and closed her eyes. I don't have any other ideas, but you do look pretty silly with a bird on your back. Flea was being very quiet. I could still feel her claws. I looked around, trying to see what she was doing. The pesky little bird had nestled down into my fur and was fast asleep. It made me shudder. What was I going to do with a stupid bird on my back? Cats don't go around with hitchhiking birds. It's just not natural. I sighed, crossed my paws, and put my cheek on them. Maybe things would look better after a nice nap. And the next chapter is chapter 8.